So uh, today we're talking about standardizing data. Uh, this is a way we can take the rather computationally uh, intensive concept of the standard deviation and put it to work for us. And we'll start with a motivating example. Uh, have a professor, uh, a professor Napworthy. Uh, he teaches two sections of an elementary statistics class and gives his first exam. In section one, the class has an average of 55 and a standard deviation of 10. And his student, Mary Kate, makes a score of 65. In section two, the class has an average of 75 and a standard deviation of 10. And Ashley makes a 70. Is it fair that Mary Kate gets a D while her twin sister gets a C. So think about that. So one has made above average and is getting a, a D while the one that has made below average is getting a C. How, how do we solve this? Well, fairness is a moral issue, but this appears to be inconsistent. Mary Kate's score is above average while Ashley's is below average. Uh, how can we quantify this? And to quantify this we bring in a concept called the z-score. And the z-score we have a formula z is equal to uh, x minus mu over sigma. And we, we calculate uh, here, uh, Ashley score 65, Mary, Mary Kate score 65, minus the, uh, the average for her section. Uh, we divide that by 10, and she gets a, a standardized score of 1. Uh, Ashley, uh, we take her score of 70 and subtract the average from it and divide that by 10. She has a standardized score of negative uh, 0.5. Uh, okay, so we, we, we've trained, tr transferred these, translated it to uh, um, standard units. Okay, so uh, there, there could be some way of taking these standard units and relating them to a letter grade that would be more appropriate. Okay. Now, let's take a whole section of these. This is section one and standardize all the scores. See here I put the scores in uh, order from highest to lowest uh, and then I've taken the z-score. I've applied this formula to each and every one of them. Okay, it's, and I get these numbers. Notice, okay, the standardized scores are just fairly small numbers, okay. We're all here on this calculation, everything is between uh, 1.7 and negative 1.8. And in general, you'll get like 98% uh, will be between uh, 2 and negative 2. These are in general clustered uh, around uh, the, the mean. I, I take these and I break them down into classes. I think, you know, the from 1 to 2, okay, I have right here from 0 to 1, okay, these right here from negative 1 to 0, these right here and then from negative 2 to negative 1 will be these right here and I, I count them up okay and then I consider the relative frequency right there okay so notice the the ones uh, the, that we've got uh, almost 80 percent in this case between 1 and negative 1. And when we go out 
uh, get a distance two out a standardized score that that brings in everybody. Okay. I do the same thing with section two scores. Okay, standardized. Okay, and note as well that that these are all clustered out around uh, z uh, very close to zero when we standardize. Okay, like so, we get, okay, um, uh, 36, uh, 37 plus 37, about 74% uh, all have the standard score between one and negative one. And, and So just in general, the whole point of these calculations is to show you that standard deviations are, are small. In, in general, uh, you can hardly expect the, the standard deviation to be uh, greater than 3. It hardly ever happens. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning of the z-score? Well, let's break it down into pieces. Let's take the numerator. The numerator, x minus mu, is the directed distance from x to mu, from a data item to the mean. Okay, sigma, right, is the size of a standard deviation. And so, this z equals x minus mu over sigma is the directed number of standard deviations that x is from mu. From, that x is, and from mu. I put sigma here as x is to mu. Okay. Okay, the t-score is done with a very similar formula. Okay. Only um, we, we use uh, we use sample data. Okay. And no, we, we still have the, the x the data item. We've got the the sample uh, mean and the sample standard deviation. So, so t is going to be an estimator for our random variables z.